Lots of folks turned out there in South Philadelphia tonight. Jim, like you said, we had the chance to talk to a few city council members tonight. They say the number one issue in the city of Philadelphia is gun violence. Well, tonight they hosted a basketball tournament trying to help. We're trying to kill some of the BS that be going on inside of the community. Behind every shot in South Philly is a teenager off the streets. The court is filled with kids from different neighborhoods, blocks, and street corners. What's this shirt mean to you? It means a lot. It means like people putting the guns down and everything and getting out of the big ball. In the shadows of a mural with the names of those killed in the city, a special basketball tournament is underway. The players' shirts say it all, peace, not guns. Referee Dennis Martinelli is a fixture at youth sports all across Philadelphia. When you're a person like me, you want to have an answer for everything. What can I do to fix it? But it's just gotten so out of hand that the only way I can see fixing it is keeping the kids as busy as we can. As the tournament went on at 20th and Tasker, so did the gun violence in the city. Several shootings happened at the same time as the games, including a man who had been shot 14 times and killed in Gray's Ferry. We know that's not going to stop violence overnight, but at the end of the day, it's a step in the right direction. We're making sure that all our law enforcement agencies are working together, making sure that we're holding people accountable who are carrying the guns. Council members Kenyatta Johnson and Isaiah Thomas tell NBC10 they're working day and night on reducing the violence. They believe there needs to be a combination of things to force change, including money for anti-violence organizations and more officers on the streets. As a member of city council, I think our number one solution is to provide um, access to as many spaces and as many resources as we possibly can. And they went on to say in almost every single shooting, someone knows who fired those shots. So they continue to fight against no snitching. For now, we are live outside of police headquarters. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. Some great efforts underway there, Aaron. Thank you. And we want to hear your story and what's working to help curb violence in your community. You can email us about the people and the programs making an impact. Send it to seekingpeace at NBCUNI.com.